Watch it, jerk. Shut up, idiot. Moron. Scab eater. Butt sniffer. Yeah. Puss licker. Fart smeller. Yeah. You bob for apples in the toilet. And you like it. You play ball like a girl. As any guy who spent any time at all in the jock universe will tell you, from childhood forward, two great fears keep boys and men in line. One is the nightmare of being called a girl. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all play like some little girls. Y'all like y'all never played football before. Tom Brady, if you're listening, take off the skirt and put on some slacks. Toughen up. Wow. And beyond this kind of sexism, the second great fear that binds the jockocracy together is homophobia. Even though we, we may think it's not a big deal in our society, the reality is it is still a lot of homophobia that exists. And sports is as about a macho of an environment as we have to offer in American culture. Like sexism, homophobia is everywhere in sports. So you have someone like John Smoltz, future Hall of Fame pitcher, who compared gay marriage to bestiality by saying, What's next, marrying an animal? Or repeat offender Jeremy Shockey of the Saints, who said that he wouldn't stand for having a gay guy on his team because they're gonna be in the shower with us. It looks amazing. As with sexism, this kind of homophobia functions